Almost everyone is familiar with the loud and abundant Canada Goose. Even non-birders can pick out this familiar brown-bodied, black and white-faced bird, best known for its V-shaped migratory pattern and its reputation for being easily irritated by passers-by. However, there is another bird closely resembling the Canada Goose that makes its way across North America during migration, the Cackling Goose. Cackling geese look extremely similar to Canada geese. So similar, in fact, that they were originally lumped in as different Canada goose subspecies. Eventually, it was determined that the four smallest subspecies of Canada geese were different enough to warrant their own species distinction, and the cackling goose was born. There are now seven subspecies of Canada geese, and four subspecies of cackling geese, with each subspecies having subtle differences. While at first glance, the Canada goose and the cackling goose are tough to tell apart, there are some diagnostic characteristics that make differentiating the two species much easier. One of the most noticeable differences between the Canada goose and the cackling goose is overall size. Canada geese are much larger with an average length of 76 to 110 centimeters and a wingspan of 127 to 170 centimeters, compared to the cackling goose's much daintier 63 to 65 centimeter length. 108 to 111 centimeter wingspan. When standing side by side, the difference is obvious, with some cackling goose subspecies being closer in size to a mallard than to a Canada goose. However, the issue is that a direct comparison is not always possible, and even if it is, it's easy to fall into the trap of thinking a bird is a cackling goose because it's smaller than a nearby Canada goose, but in reality, it may just be a smaller subspecies of Canada goose. It's important to also remember that larger subspecies of cackling geese can be close to the size of smaller subspecies of Canada geese. Additionally, geese can look smaller or larger based on whether or not they are standing or extending their neck. For this reason, size alone is not always reliable. The next distinguishing feature to note is the bill. The Canada goose's bill is long and gently sloping to give it a more pointed appearance. The cackling goose's bill is stubbier and slopes down more rapidly, giving it a more triangular appearance. The cackling goose's shorter bill is one of the key features that can be diagnostic in the field, even when there are no Canada geese nearby to compare with. Much like bill length, neck length is also a key feature that differs in the two species. The Canada goose has a comparatively longer neck than the cackling goose. Even when fully extended, the cackling goose will still appear to have a shorter neck. This feature can be slightly deceptive, however, as Canada geese can appear to have short necks when they are resting, and length can be largely dependent on the position of the bird. Even so, with two birds in similar positions, the difference is quite obvious. The size and shape of the head can also be used as a diagnostic tool. The Canada goose's head is larger and has a more gentle sloped angle from the back of the head to the front. The cackling goose has a smaller and more rounded, or sometimes even blocky looking head. One more less obvious feature that differentiates these two species is primary projection. The wingtips of the Canada goose typically do not stretch as far beyond the rump as those of the cackling goose. This gives the cackling goose a slightly more elegant appearance. Overall, the Canada goose will be larger in size and have a long pointed bill, long neck, flatter sloping head, and shorter primary projection. The cackling goose will be smaller in size and have a short, stubby, triangular bill, short neck, small rounded head, and longer primary projection. Canada goose versus cackling goose can certainly be a challenging ID. Since most of the differentiating features are comparative, it can be especially difficult to make an identification when there are no other birds around for perspective. With both species varying widely in size due to many subspecies, no one characteristic should be used, but rather all characteristics together to help paint a clearer picture of which birds are Canada geese and which birds are cackling geese. It's worth noting that there may be some individuals that should not be labeled with a specific species and instead be listed as Canada slash cackling goose or shown to experts to make a final decision. We hope you found this video helpful. If there are some other difficult identifications you'd like a video on, please leave a comment. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time 
on Badgerland Birding. Mm -hmm.